Hi, and welcome to my poster presentation. The title of my poster is Verification of Physics Informed Neural Networks, Formal Guarantees for Power System Applications. My name is Andreas Fenske, and I'm a PhD student at the Technical University of Denmark. This is joint work with Guanan Shi Yu and Stephen Lowe from Caltech and Spiros Hatsivasiliadis from DTU. First, I would like to motivate the topic. Machine learning approaches, including neural networks, have demonstrated significant potential for power system applications. So for example, it has been shown that neural networks are 100 times faster than conventional methods for power system security assessment and for solving optimal power flow problems. However, neural networks are treated so far as black box tools and they're trained physics agnostic. So that means that we do not leverage the rich physical models available for power systems. On the right, we can see an adversarial example. An adversarial example is a small input perturbation to the neural network that leads to a wrong misclassification. So here we see a picture of a panda that gets correctly classified as a panda. If we apply a small input perturbation to this picture, then the resulting picture gets misclassified as a gibbon with a high probability. So here I've shown a picture of the gibbon below. And this brittleness of the neural networks is a major barrier towards their adoption and safety critical applications, such as power systems. And the goal of our work is to remove these barriers by providing formal guarantees of neural network behavior and by training neural networks physics informed. We consider both feed forward regression and classification neural networks with ReLU activation functions. So the neural networks consist of an input layer and subsequent hidden layers and an output layer. And at each of the neurons in the hidden layer, we apply the nonlinear ReLU activation function. After training, we can formulate mixed integer linear programs to obtain provable guarantees of neural network behavior. For security classifiers, we can obtain continuous input regions that have the same guaranteed classification, and we can identify adversarial examples. For neural networks learning solutions to DC optimal power flow problems, we can obtain the maximum worst case constraint violation over the entire input domain to the neural network. Finally, we train neural networks physics informed by including the linear physical constraints in the loss function during training, such as the generator or the transmission line limits. Here, we look at the neural network that classifies operating points as secure or not secure with respect to power system security criteria and obtain guarantees. On the left-hand side, we can see classification guarantees for continuous input regions. In green, we show the samples that get correctly classified as safe by the neural network. In red, at the boundary, we see that some of the samples are misclassified. In blue, we see the correctly unsafe classified samples. And here we show some illustrative verification samples for which we compute the largest region around the sample in which the classification is guaranteed to remain the same. So that means by solving these mixed integer linear programs, we obtain the guarantee that no input to the neural network in this box ex exists, which changes the classification. On the right hand side, we see how we can use this framework to evaluate the robustness of neural networks by identifying adversarial examples. So here the inner circle represents the true classification and the outer circle represents the prediction by the neural network. And in blue, we have identified an adversarial example. And as we can see here, this adversarial example shows that in fact, the estimation of the security boundary by the neural network is not correct. And a detailed resampling of the region around the adversarial example would increase the robustness of the neural network. Then we look at obtaining worst case guarantees for learning DCOPF. So we consider a neural network that predicts the optimal generator dispatch for a given system loading. We use as a test case a 30 bus IEEE system with a base loading of 800, 189 megawatt plus minus 20% load variation. We consider two training procedures, a standard training shown in blue and a physics informed adversarially robust training shown in red. 
And on the left, we see the number of data samples with respect to the root mean squared error of the neural network prediction. And on the right, the number of data samples with respect to the worst case maximum constraint violation. We can observe that for both quantities with increase of number of data samples, um, the maximum violation and the root mean squared error decreases. We can also observe that for a low number of data samples, the worst case maximum constraint violations can be substantial and that by training physics informed, these can be systematically reduced. This, however, comes at the cost of a reduced predictive accuracy of the physics-informed trained neural network. To conclude, we introduced a framework based on mixed integer linear program that allows us to evalu evaluate neural network robustness by identifying adversarial examples, obtaining provable guarantees for security classifiers and neural networks predicting solution to DCOPF problems. In future work, we plan to explore the trade-off between accuracy and satisfying constraints and obtaining guarantees related to nonlinear physical constraints. For more details, please refer to the poster and the publications below. I'm also happy to answer any questions via email, and I would like to thank you for your attention.